probably look around the table and think to yourself, man, my family is weird. Or boy, that one relative over there has got to be the weirdest. And we give you the opportunity to prove it to everyone once and for all. Everyone loves to claim that they have the weirdest relative or relatives in America. But now is your chance to actually earn the title. Earn the sash and earn four on the floor for K-Rock's Almost Acoustic Christmas happening at the Kia Forum on December 14th. And we do have a sash. We have a sash. Most importantly, uh, we will send this to whichever relative wins. Here's you can how it works. take them to Acoustic with you if you want. You don't have to. I wish you would, but understand that some of these relatives don't live in the state. Some of them are, quote, off the grid. A lot of weird relatives like to go off the grid. Oh, my God. For different Remember reasons. last year we talked to a guy whose uncle, like, lived on a boat on a lake? He lived on a boat, but the boat didn't work or something. Yeah. The boat couldn't actually leave, so he lived on a boat, but the boat couldn't go anywhere. That's a real weird relative move, right? There's different levels of weird for relatives. And I know that in a few moments, we're going to meet all of the people on the phone right now. But before we can even start the official competition for the third annual search for America's Weirdest Relative, Jake the Nerd did tell us yesterday that he is going to his cousins in the Central Valley for Thanksgiving because he was, quote, born there. And, I was born there. And he said it's his birthright that he gets to go back I every... I said it's known that I go. It's known. And we asked him if he was actually invited or he just goes. And he said... It's known. It's known. Well, Jake, we did track down your cousin. Okay. Her name is Carol, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on one second. Let me get her on the phone. Hey, uh, this is Jake, the nerd's cousin, Carol. That's me. Hi, Carol. Thank you for agreeing to be on K Rock with us. Um, just to, no a, problem. A couple of questions, uh, and you please answer honestly. And you can say hi to Jake. <laughs> Jake's here too. But but but, but, but honesty is what we appreciate on this show above all else. Is Jake invited to Thanksgiving, or does Jake show up for Thanksgiving? Well, you know, in our family, it's. It's just it's known well, that yeah. you're invited. <laughs> How many so members of your family it, say it's known all the time? <laughs> it's on our <laughs> It's on the family crest. Uh, it's known. Uh, okay. It's fine. Ooh, it's yeah, known. It's Wait. kind of like this. We have a thing. Everybody's invited. It's uh, just known. Right. But if Jake didn't show up, would you be disappointed or would you carry on? Oh, no. We'd be disappointed. But we would also carry on. Right. <laughs> And uh, fo- make feel fo- follow up question because we weren't sure. You know how every Thanksgiving table has the one guy at the table that's kind of the one. You, you know, know? The one. is Jake the yeah. the one at your table? Is that also known? Well, yeah, he kind of stands out. I yeah. can say that. Okay, he's our entertainment usually, right. but uh, you know, like right. a court jester. He's kind of a cultural experience for my grandkids. Got it. So he, um, yeah. so he'll sit there and, and they say, "Look at the freak." And, <laughs> and I dance around. It's, no, it's not like that. I mean, well, maybe a little bit like right. that. But. <laughs> okay. So Jake is the. If you had to pick weirdest at your own family's Thanksgiving table, it's Jake. Oh, it's definitely Jacob. Hold okay. on, but am uh, I the one or am I the fun? And I, I would have to agree with that, Jake. He is the fun, but, uh, you know, if one of these things is not like the others, it might be him. Got it. We got it. Have have, have any of your children or grandchildren complained and been said, please, please don't invite Uncle Jake or whatever? (laughs) No, I mean, the opposite's true. They like him. They ask, is Jake going to be here this year? Because he's an oddity. He's different from us. Because <laughs> he's an oddity? Because he's the guy with oh, the dog in the man, backpack, right, Carol? That's unbelievable. Right, exactly. Well, that's part of it. We know that Kibby comes as the package. Mm-hmm. So just wanted to clarify some things that we were pretty sure of yesterday. He is the one. He hasn't been formally invited, but it's known that he can show up. But if he didn't show up, eh, Thanksgiving would carry on as is. All true. Okay, yes. And is it true that he takes most, if not all, of the leftovers? Oh, yeah, he does. We <laughs> send him home with leftovers. But, you know, he lives by himself down there. Uh, yeah. He's got a and shack he now. He a taste of home. Wait, but you d- know. does yeah. he um, overstay his welcome, would you say, or the uh, appropriate amount of stay? No, he never overstays his welcome. He's always welcome. Mm. He does sometimes um, go on things he shouldn't go on. You know, like we have the furniture. And he'll, <laughs> yeah, he, Get off the couch, Jake. Exactly. That's for the adults. What do you exactly. mean go on what? Yeah. Well, you know, like, um, we might go to go shopping, Black Friday shopping, and he, he'll tag along. Ah! 
<laughs> Check. Tag along is not a good term ever. Uh, here's what I've taken from this call. I've, ta- I've taken the following terms from this call. Oddity, tag along. And freak of nature. He's the entertainment. Jake, are you uh, exce- you picking this up? or? I hear it. All right. <laughs> We love him. Right. We love Jakey. I bet he's so fun to shop with. Oh, it was he fun. fun. Oh, fun. He definitely draws attention. That's he draws what attention. That's what you want. Wherever he goes. That's what you want. By the way, and hard, he goes, I was born here, damn it. Hard to draw attention in a Walmart. Yeah. So many people fighting for that attention. Carol, it. thank you for thank you, Carol. thank you, Carol, for coming on with us, and thank hey, you for giving Jake a thank meal. Thank you, guys. All right, Have thank a good you. Day. He'll, you be too. Eating, he'll be eating your leftovers, I'm sure, for the next six months. So, All right, Allie. I mean, if Jake doesn't win this thing, I don't even know why we're even doing it now. He's the weird one. He's the weird one. It's great. I love it. I love that she's like, yeah, he's a total freak weirdo. Uh, but we love him. Oddity. 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 A lot of people on the phones, in fact, every line is full, claim that they have the weirdest relative in America. It's the third annual search. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Michelle, we give you the first word. Who are you nominating? Hey, guys, my uncle, my 60-year-old uncle. I love starting off with an uncle, don't you, Klein? Uh, Yes. (laughs) Usually uncles do win this. There's something in their DNA. They're cut out to win this. That's Jake's an uncle, so you understand that that will automatically up the weird factor by at least 30%. What does your uncle do? Go ahead, Michelle. So he literally records himself fighting, play fighting with this buff silicone doll, like on the floor. And then he literally makes us watch it. The weirdest part is when he's done fighting this thing, he'll clean it up, record himself cleaning it, and records himself putting clothes on the silicone buff doll that he fights. Is this a yes. uh, is this a sex doll? You say keep saying a silicone doll. I think I think of like it being a sex doll, but you're saying it's not like that. I hope not. Um, it's like some buff. Like silicone doll that punching. he named. Oh, I see. One of those like uh, self defense dolls. Oh, so he, yeah. So, all right. So he, he took f- it off the stick. Got it. So, he he took <laughs> it off the so, so your uncle, your uncle will. So he's defenseless. Will, will fight the uh, self defense doll. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have your balance stick, do you? Uh-huh. That's so tough now. You can't stand up anymore. So he does, he fights it, then he videos it, show, makes you all sit around and watch the video. And then after the video, yeah. he cleans it up and puts it, he dresses it, you said? He dresses it. He puts clothes on this thing. Sunglasses, shirts, sweaters. Okay. okay. Wow. Like what a start. <laughs> Guys, this could be, I'm telling you right now, that was that the first. That is amazing. That is the first submission. In the search for America's weirdest relative. Especially that he God does damn, it regularly. That's... Like, this wasn't just once he did it. He does it all the time and makes them watch it. Make sure you write down Michelle's information, because I have a feeling that she's going to fast track to the finals. I would we'll... love to see one of the videos, too. Uh, let's say hi to uh, Gabriella on K-Rock this morning. It's the search for America's weirdest relative. Who are you nominating? Hi, guys. Sweet to this. Sweet um, this. I wanted to nominate my cousin, Seth. Okay. All right. Um, what does he do? He's a funky dude. He paints in his own blood. What? Whoa, Whoa dude. That's weird. And and how does he draw his own blood? Um, he just cuts it open, cuts it on open. Um, he'll drip it into like a little vessel, little um, like a little container, and then he'll just paint on uh, canvas. How big are the canvases? Um, and the Oh, they're huge. Yeah, they're pretty big, uh, good-sized canvases. He paints freaky stuff. Like, they all have different weird underlying messages, a lot of poems in them. Um, sometimes you turn the lights off, and they have, like, a... a, a glow message. A glow, in the, glow in the dark. Yeah, glow in the dark message. And he uses media and... Um, mm-hmm. And, he, and that's his. Thing. That's like his one of his uh, like artistic signatures that he puts a little bit of his blood in every one of his pieces. That's kind of his thing. No, he puts blood in some of his pieces. He signs all of his pieces as Satan. So that's oh. his artistic. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right well, that's hey. what he's more yeah. known for. <laughs> all right, all and right. is he mainly writing the ransom notes? I mean, that's, my God, that's cousin Seth right there. I wonder if he tries to sell them, or is it just like a passion? thing, like trying to pawn them off on the rest of your family. So strange. Hey, well, I got you some for Christmas this year. Yeah. What was, oh, uh, another blood poem. Thank you, <laughs> Seth. What was uh, uncle's name, Vanessa? I want to make sure I'm addressing everyone properly. Uncle that um, that did the that fights the doll. Do we have a name for him or just uncle? 
Cause I, I, don't I, wa- know. Uh, cause I want to make sure that if Cousin Seth, Uncle, I mean, these are all characters we're going to get to know over the next week until we decide right before Thanksgiving who wins this thing. I wonder if she's like, I got to do a big canvas today, and then he just passes out. Let's say hi to uh, Marlon on K-Rock this morning. Uh, Marlon, I would guess in most relati- in most families, Marlon would be the weird one, but Marlon is calling to nominate a, a relative. Marlon, who are you nominating in the search for America's weirdest a relative pre-Thanksgiving? What do you got? It's going to be Aunt Sheila, the cheek biter. The face cheek biter, not the butt. So wait a minute. Well, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Aunt, very important. Aunt Sheila will come up to you and bite your cheek on your face. Yep, I was around six years old the first time she did it, and it was definitely a core memory. She just comes up to you, she says hi, she bites your cheek, she goes, Mi cachetona, which means my big cheeks. And yeah, she bites your cheek. And she still does that to this day, or only when you were six? No, to this day, last Christmas, uh, she did it to my cousin while he was eating his tamale. And when she bites, I mean, she's really putting, like, leaving teeth marks? I mean, a real bite? Oh, she's biting into a ripe apple practice. Okay, oh my is, is God. Is it like a prolonged, like, is she biting and holding, or is it just like a quick, like, ow? No, it's a, she holds. Wow. <laughs> All right, that's an interesting... Did that uh, baby just get bitten by your aunt, or... <laughs> she's about to. Give me a... All right, hold on one second. That's uh, nom- Now we've got an uncle nominated, a cousin nominated, and an aunt nominated. I mean, that's the trifecta right there, Klein. <sighs> Of weird in the family, it's always going to be aunt, uncle, cousin. Yeah. Somewhere in the... Uh, That's uh, the holy uh, trinity. Uh, let's add Hector, who's got a nominee for America's Weirdest Relative. Hector, uh, which relative of yours are you nominating? We're only doing a few more of these today, but don't worry. You'll have a chance to get to us throughout the week. The grand prize is four on the floor for K-Rock's Almost Acoustic Christmas. What's up? Good morning. Uh, yeah, I nominate my uncle, another uncle, Louie. He likes to urinate in a bucket. Um, like during family functions, every anytime. He's, but the thing is that he goes outside when he does it. Instead of going to the restroom, he goes outside, and you know it's gotten to the point now where the neighbors see it. So now we're known as the family with the uncle that pees in the bucket. <laughs> That's a terrible reputation. To have. Can't and, come back and, from that. And he brings his own bucket from place to place, or he just finds a bucket, or no, I think it's the same bucket. Mm. You know, so it, okay. it, 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 it's weird, man. That is weird, but that's very Uncle Move right there. Guy likes wilderness, apparently. Some people well, get... why have a bucket? Just pee in a bush. Did you ever ask him that, Hector? You know what? I, I, we don't know, man. We're trying to figure out why does he pee in a bucket? Well, you can ask him. I mean, it sounds like you've been around him long enough. I bet. I think guys have sometimes weird pee habits. You know, like peeing in a bottle, peeing off your balcony. Like, guys have weird stuff with that. Yeah, you don't have a bucket unless it's like a necessity. Jimmy on K-Rock, nominees for America's Weirdest Relative. This is only round one of nominees. We'll do another round tomorrow of uh, first round nominees, and then we'll pick some finalists, and they can battle it out. We'll actually meet these relatives uh, next week before we decide who actually earns the title. Uh, Jimmy, what do you got for us? I got a crazy aunt and uncle. Um... They both live in a trailer park in Arizona. And one year they had Christmas and he decided to show up as Santa. And let's just say Santa brought his own snow and was offering cocaine to people. (laughs) Oh. Children or other adults? Um, We were like over 18, so Mm -hmm. it wouldn't be children. Oh, he was offering to his relatives. Your uncle, uncle dressed as Santa says, I got a bunch of blow here who wants it. Exactly. All right. Hey, that could be weird or awesome, depending on who you are. <laughs> Nelly, we give you the final... Oh, sorry. That's... Uh, sorry about that. I hung up on someone. Uh, Nelly, we give you the final word in, in this round of open nominees. Round one of America's mm-hmm. Weirdest Relative. What do you got? Sweet dibs. Sweet dibs. I guess I'm nominating my brother, the booger roller. What does he, he do? To, he likes to roll his boogers... Uh, well, he picks his boogers with his shot-off pinky, first of all, and then he rolls them up and throws them at people while he's driving. Oh! Wait a minute. He has a sawed-off pinky? A shot-off pinky. He shot his pinky off, so it's all, like, bent and deformed, <laughs> and that's the finger he chooses. Oh, well, that's... Don't bury the lead I, here. That's a pretty good way to place to start. How does he start. shoot off his own finger? Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> so Nobody he's, knows. So, he's so, a weirdo. He's a weirdo. So, we don't ask these questions. So he's wow. got a he's got a mangled pinky that he then uses that to is pick perfect for picking. Pick, pick boogers and roll them, and then what does he's he do back, after? He, it's ro- like a little hook finger. So he's <laughs> like okay. All right. Wow. I mean, Allie, I heard all the buzzwords today. Hook, hook finger, pee bucket. I mean, this was just round one of America's weirdest relative search. Uh, we'll continue tomorrow, and then we'll give away some tickets. This is K. Ryan. Well, look at you. You made it through a Klein Alley show video. You probably didn't want it to begin with, and maybe you didn't even know who we are, but let's be honest. The internet's all about connecting with complete strangers that may or may not kill you one day. If you like it, you can subscribe for more. Just click this button. Or over there, or there. We're not really sure. You've heard it a lot. And, uh, you know, comment, like, and all that bullshit. It actually does help, believe it or not. So we're saying it because we really do mean it. And you can also listen to the live show or download the podcast if you missed anything and you're getting show mode. Yeah, we're on the radio. You can find one of these things in the museum.